Hi everybody, welcome back to The Belt and Bond. It's Michelle here and I am, I don't even know why, but I'm in such a mood for fall. Like I'm in Florida and it is not even cold here like by any stretch, but like I got the off the shoulder sweat, sweater, the vampy lip, like I don't know why I'm in the mood for fall, but I just am. And I'm here to, to talk to you today about the best teething products. So my son Scotland is 10 months old now and you have probably seen him in our last vlog. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please press the subscribe button. You can minimize this video and it should be on this side over here. Just click subscribe, that way you never miss a video upload from us. And also make sure you follow us on Facebook and on Instagram and I will link our Facebook and Instagrams below. But it's just at The Belt and Bond, so like our page on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. And thank you for tuning into this video and welcome to any new subscribers that may have come since our last video. So yeah, back to business. We're gonna talk about my top five teething products. Now Scotland is 10 months old and he has two teeth, you guys. He got his first tooth when he was around seven months old. That's when it like broke and we started to see it, but he had been like showing signs of teething since maybe four months old. But he got that tooth and he was like just the one tooth grinner for so long. Like his rapper name, cause I have a rapper name, I'm M. Easy. But anyway, Scotland's rapper name was One Tooth cause he just had like one tooth so now he goes by one sock because sometimes like he'll pull a sock off and he just has on the one but anyway he got his first tooth when he was seven months old and then the second one came um a little before or right at nine months old so i'm going to tell you the top five products that we have used for him with teething now the first thing may come as a surprise but the first thing that he kind of used as a teether were our hands like he would just grab at our hands and it's like he would try to be sneaky and coy about it. Like he would grab our hands, play with our fingers and before you know it, they're like in his mouth and he's just like gumming them and gnawing the mess out of our fingers. Now I did look up if that was safe because you know, you know, your hands, you touch things, you grab things. But as a parent and just in general, I'm constantly washing my hands anyway. So your hands are overall pretty clean for your child to use as teethers. I don't suggest it. So don't be like, you know what? not gonna buy any teethers my child can just you just use my hands I'm not suggesting that but our hands like me and BJ's hands were like the first thing and fingers that he would gnaw on and he does it to his own fingers like he'll put his fingers in his mouth constantly and then he puts his little toesy woesies and feet in his mouth as well but these were like the first objects that he kind of used as a teether so the next teething item I want to talk about are these teething rings. Now Scotland has had these for quite a while and I believe I got them from Bye Bye Baby. That's where I do a lot of his baby shopping or Target. But you can find these at like Bye Bye Baby, Target, Toys R Us. If I can find the link, I will link these. But I love these teething rings. One, I love them because they're different colors. So I can use these to teach him colors. And also I like them because they can come off and he gets them off. I feel like I mentioned these in a video before. I don't know. But he can get these off. So if he doesn't, you know, if I don't want to take this whole thing inside somewhere, I can just give him one or two of them and they can connect to each other. But it helps him to learn his colors. But also, if you can notice, they're like grooved or ribbed. So like this blue one has just little like, I don't know what you would call these, like rings around it. And then like the yellow one is smooth. This purple one is bumpy. So that can kind of help to like um, scratch his gums when they're irritated. And then this, um, I guess... I don't know, aqua blue and the red one, they have the rings around it and are bumpy as well. So this teething ring really works well for him. He loves this. We actually, um, if it's not in my diaper bag, then I just keep it in the car and I just, you know, toss it to him in the back seat and he just does what he does with it. He'll gnaw on it, play with it. I mean, it gets super wet with, you know, spit and drool, but um, he absolutely loves this teething ring. And it was like no more than $5, very affordable. So the next item are these frozen teething rings and yes I actually just like pulled these out of my freezer because Scotland uses these and I can really tell when his gums are irritated because he will be crying or he's just super irritated and I hand him one of these frozen teething rings and it like just calms him down immediately now this one is obviously a hand and it came in a pack of two it came as this pink hand and then there's a green foot which i keep at his babysitter's house so he has this one and he has the green foot and then this one is the actual ring and this has texture on it too so this one has texture you know little grooves that you can feel and then this is the actual teething ring 
that you can also freeze and it also has different grooves and bumps and things on it that help when they um need to soothe their gums and i just hand this to scotland and he just ah! replay ah! like that's what he does with this and i mean he loves it he'll you know toss it and what he likes to do now this is totally off track but what he likes to do is like just if he's in his high chair or, or, or in his car seat he will just like hold this and dangle it over until he drops it. and then he like looks over it like hey what happened to it and then of course I have to pick it up but he loves these teething rings I like them as well because they're cooling to him and it just helps you know soothe his gums so if you don't have any get you some of these that you can just pop in the freezer i think his babysitter keeps um the one at her house in the refrigerator which is fine too so the next item we like to use for teething products for scotland are these um they're actually bath toys but they're like a rubber silicone type um material so um brain fart so um, he really likes these. Usually they're in the tub with him, but you know, he gnaws like this fishy was his like ride or die for the longest. I would go like fishy, 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 and like squeeze it. Cause you know, it has a hole. So in the bathtub, you know, water gets let out, but if he's not in the tub, then just air comes out. But these are really nice because they're rubber. So he can bite on these, gnaw on these. They're not going to break. It came in this set of four. So usually I think these two kind of stay in the bathroom. Fishy was downstairs for a while. And then um, the turtle and this um, dory fish kind of hang out in his room. But a lot of the times he uses these at night before bed. Like, so like if we're trying to change him and get him dressed for bed, he'll have one of these so that he can just kind of gnaw on and chew on. But they're rubber. Um, he can't swallow them, you know, things like that. So it's kind of, you know, something safe that he can use to teeth. So I like these for him and he likes these for um, his gums to be soothed as well. So I may have mentioned this product um, a while ago. I think when I was talking about like the top 10 products, I think in one of my earlier videos, um, I'll link that video below as well in case you want to check it out. But this was actually for tummy time. But the reason I'm including it in this teething product video is because of the ring attachment that it has. Yes, they're very similar to the teething ring, but um, these he likes to chew on as well and they can come off and he can just have them by themselves. But I like this, his babysitter actually bought him the cutest bib ever because she's like, y'all need to get him some larger bibs because he has the bibs, but right now he's like drooling so much. I think he's getting like some of his top teeth now, but he's drooling so much that the bib will be soaking wet. And if it's like one that's kind of narrow, it'll get on his shirt. So she bought him this large bib that says drooling is my job, which is so appropriate, but it has three rings like this on them. And there, in the, um, there are holes in the bib as well, so he can take out those rings and just, you know, gnaw on those. So anything with little ring attachments is wonderful for baby's teeth and for them to soothe themselves. So the last item I actually just thought about and I had to go and grab it is, and it's not really teething, but it is related to oral care and oral hygiene. This is his um, infant and maybe probably on into toddler um, toothbrush that we actually got from one of the ladies that I work with when I had a baby shower at work. Right now, I only use this brush because like I said, he only has two teeth, but I use this brush. And what I do with it is usually I'll put it on my ring finger and it's um, plastic and it has grooves here on the back side and then little bristles, bristles here on the front. And I will just brush his two little bottom teeth with, or his teethers as um, this girl called them, but I'll brush his teeth with that. And then the top part like will um, graze over his gums. I'll brush over his tongue as well. So even though it's not really for teething, I think when I'm brushing his teeth and brushing his gums, it helps to soothe him. And I'm just getting a head start and a jump start on the um, oral care. And of course, like any mom, when I brush his teeth, I'm like, this is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth. And he does the cutest thing. I'll say, say, ah, ah. And he actually does it. He's like, ah, ah. So I try to make um, oral care, dental time, fun time so that, you know, he's not hurting or in pain or it's not helping to um, over irritate his gums. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads, parents to be, this was just some of the top teething products that BJ and I use for Scotland. Like I said, he's 10 months right now and has two teeth. We will probably continue to use these products. Um, let me know in the comments down below what products you use for your child or if you liked any of these items, just um, leave us a comment down below. 
Also, I want to thank you for watching and let us know what other kinds of videos you would like to see. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Even if you didn't like it, you can still give it a thumbs up. Okay. Also, um, be sure to share this video, share it with your friends, families, other parents that you know, just click the share button. And also again, be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribing, I'm wondering why, why? Okay. So subscribe to this channel and always remember to be bold, be blessed and be bonded. Thank you so much for watching the Belton Bond. We will see you in our next video.